Before I start, uh, just as Councillor Hunt said, uh, we were asked to use or promote the MCT. So if you hate it, it's not my problem. <laughs> so today I'm going to introduce uh, industrial engineering. Uh, this is a compulsory course for all engineering students after they've finished their uh, year one foundation course. Um, they have to take this. So usually we get year two to year three students here. Uh, so these are the basic background, it's a one semester course, and students should have achieved grade 4 in English ATSD, and all the there. So these are the course aims here, and we have the big words, we're helping students <laughs> develop an independent and critical mind about workplace communication, and prepare them to handle some common spoken and written terms. And these are some example genres that they will be able to master, um, I hope, after they have to use <laughs> our course. So, progress reports, emails, incident reports, uh, engineering project proposal, engineering presentation, engineering meetings. So, we're actually preparing them for the future workplace. And hopefully, we could be transferring some of the knowledge to the final year project report as well. Okay. These are the assessments that we have, 20% goes, yeah, talking about the assessment low, right? 20% <laughs> goes to preparation report, 20% presentation, and uh, that's spread across two weeks, week six and week seven. Email, 10%, we have 30 minutes simulator meeting, 20% in week 12 and 13. So out of 13 weeks, we have four weeks gone just for presentation. We have a very heavy speaking element in English or engineering. Students, some students say love it, <laughs> most of them, <laughs> they don't like speaking. Um, we have engineering proposal and finally 10% participation. So, all the assessment that we have, they are built around this scenario here. They have to pretend that they are working in an imaginary firm, and they usually give it an imaginary name, like ABC Engineering Company. Very creative of students. Um, <laughs> The background here, this company would generate profit by holding public seminars and teachers here, they have a love-hate relationship with this assignment. Some of them are questioning whether they should be called seminars, some of them, you know. But basically it's a presentation, alright? And then we have the consultancy work after the presentation. Uh, who they're presenting to, they're presenting to the target uh, client. So all the other students are listening to the presentation, they will be the potential clients. So after the presentation, the, one of the client team will be approaching them, asking them to solve one problem that they're facing. And as a result, they will be proceeding to the engineering project. And from time to time, students ask me this question, what is an engineering firm? <laughs> so I found this a very reliable source from Wise Geek. <laughs> So basically, they provide consulting and technical services. They have to design and modify some infrastructure, some you know, existing engineering solution. And this is very relevant to what they are doing, actually, because uh, in most of our sections, except for our School of Energy, whatever that's called, as <laughs> Yes. <laughs> uh, we have a mixture of students from different uh, major. So it's very likely that they will be working together. You know, students from civil engineering, from mechanical engineering, they have to work together to develop an engineering solution. Okay? So the flow here is from the public seminar, they will have to do the consultancy work and finally they will have to present an engineering solution to the client. Uh, Usually we'll be grouping four students in a group. One of them will be the project team leader. Uh, and then we have a design engineer, technical engineer, and sales engineer. We did not make this up. If you Google them, they exist. These are the brief job titles out there. Um, and apart from that, we have an imaginary person, Ralph Jones, that's a supervisor, <laughs> supervising all the engineering project. 
I love this course. <laughs> okay, so this is the first real assignment that they have to deal with, uh, the engineering seminar. So these are going to have to tell the clients uh, what's so special about the technology that they're presenting. And for them to do that, they have to do some research using reliable sources. Okay. So the second purpose is to increase the visibility of the firm. So as a result, they have to talk about the previous project that the engineering company has finished. Imagine it again. Um, so hopefully somebody will be using their services. And we develop these topics. We English teachers with no engineering background. So we are very proud. Uh, energy problem, pollution problem. So how did we do this? We actually looked at some final year project written by our students and also sometimes we'll be looking at the research publications of the professors. So they, they are very real. Uh, some examples here, food energy conservation is a building, low energy efficiency of lighting system in some private housing estates. Uh, we have battery problem. And these are the new ones, a uh, rainwater recovery system for non political water usage, and also a uh, water food air conditioning system. And the list of the, the idea here is that we give students enough choice so they will love the topic that they're working on. Okay. So, two pages. So, usually what happens is uh, in week one, I will show them these topics, and they automatically, immediately, they have to get into the group. Okay. They try to get on. Which one should we be doing? Which one is the easiest? That's the mentality of some groups. And for some more talented, you know, more motivated group, they will actually do some research, googling topics and see what resources they are able to find. Okay? So in the presentation, the project team leader usually will be presenting on a real life problem. And the design engineer will be presenting on the technology. And technical engineer on the limitation of the technology and the sales engineer will be talking about the experience of the firm. So that's the division of like that. Okay? So we have a presentation here, but that's not the first assignment that they have to submit. Uh, for them to do the presentation, they have to research, they have to use our library website, not just Google properly. And they have to write a progress report to report on the findings that they have uh, found using those reliable sources. It's not very lengthy report, around two pages. Okay. And after the presentation, they have to research for the good things, and then that will be leading towards the final meeting, when they have to present the final solution to the client. Okay, but that's not finished yet, um, because we want to make things complicated to our students. We have a final <laughs> email chat, uh, that's for Ralph Jan to ask the engineering team to submit a draft for his inspection and obviously if something bad happened, they have to write an email explaining what happened. They are very creative sometimes, over creative. Uh, one group of mine actually said, you know, uh, our technical engineer died. <laughs> not a week, so we can't really come up with a solution. <laughs> now, obviously, obviously, if the technical engineer had died, he or she would not be able to participate in the final meeting. So that's not going to work. So that's the basic structure of our course. Okay. This is the uh, schedule. Six and seven for presentation. So if you think of it, the contact hours, they put the teaching hours, and it's not very heavy. Which means it's students, it's quite student-centered. Student-centered, yes. Very student-centered. Materials are a bit dodgy, a bit old. A lot of people like the materials, but the idea... Some students have been in some students' state. Designed with all materials. Uh, there's some examples here. These are the topics that we are giving to our students. This is the air conditioning system. We have to find it up into two batches. Batch A would be for them to play the engineering role. 
actually B is for them to prepare for, you know, taking part as a client. Okay, so the situation here, uh, in Hong Kong air, co air conditioners are widely implemented in residential building, and then we have some problem with that, with noise, with heat. So we are trying to uh, develop a new system using water to cool our air conditioning units. Okay, so this technology actually exists, and in fact my building is using uh, the water cool air conditioning system. And it has a lot of problems, that's why I have developed this topic. <laughs> <laughs> it breaks down all the time because the cooling tower is not working. <laughs> and then we have the factory feed. So we're actually asking our students to develop a system for public housing estate. So that means they really have to do their research, find the exact public housing estate that's new, um, and they try to find the floor plan and try to provide the actual schematic as well. Okay, I put another one. Put parameters here for them to take into consideration. This one here is taken by, uh, you know, we used one of the projects developed by the professors. So we have PFC, I have no idea what that is. Uh, so how, do you know what that is? No. <laughs> so how the material is actually harming our, you know, water body. And what they have to do is to use these parameters to develop the final working solution. The blueprints are proposed should to clients. Yes. Trying to get their business, trying to get the clients. Going down the blueprint, but actually show the this and proposal. And have a meeting over that proposal. This is one of the hardest courses that I've had to teach to get my head around it. Mm -hmm. Well, I taught it for the first time last year. It took s by week seven, mm -hmm. I think I started to see. Oh, this is where we're going. Right? It's not. It was really quite complicated. Mm -hmm. A lot of materials. And when you're teaching it for the second time, to get up your head around. Second time, it gets a lot more fun. Mm -hmm. for, for the fact sheets, what students they, they they love this part. They always discuss budget. See that budget, yeah, thirteen million. They love sort of. <laughs> Negotiating budget, yeah. Yeah. things like that. So that's one. That's one highlight in terms of. Uh, but then negotiating, negotiating with that means they're just arguing. <laughs> yeah. In some ways, yeah. It's fun for us. Yeah. <laughs> the watch the <laughs> yeah. So that's a quick, quick oh, run down. Do you have other questions? Yes, the blueprints. You, you mean written text, not technical drawings? Right? Yes. Uh, actually, it's engineering proposal. It's an. It's a proposal. Yeah. That's what they call it. In yeah. The it's confusing. I was so confused. is the word seminar. seminar. All of that yeah. is part of what I was saying to get your head around the stuff. Right <laughs> but once you do, it's uh, a nice course to teach. And these confusions are actually uh, very useful as well in the lesson situation because you really have to uh, constantly explain to them what it is. They have to keep asking questions. So there's this very authentic information gap right there between the teacher and the student. 